Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Proval Tech. Today I wanted to go over a little bit of ConnectWise RMM and how to set up an Intellimon monitor. Let's get into it. So once you log into ConnectWise RMM, you come down to Alert Management, Intellimon Alerts, and then these are all of the monitors or alerts created as best practice through the ConnectWise Device system. A lot of these are come or come over from Continuum. So just as an example, this SCSI device not responded within the timeout period is not set up by default. However, I can come in here by clicking on it. I can see it's created by system. You can adjust any of these family or severity if you want to. On the right hand side, we have add automation. So if you have any auto fixes or anything you'd like to run first, maybe you want to run a local ping or something like that. If this were to trigger, I'll just use my script as a test. This is just a task. Last thing you want to do is on the top right, make sure you pick where you want that to go. You can target a specific device. For an example, I can target a specific machine or ideally make sure you set up a dynamic group or you can even target a client and anything in that type you can select. So let me remove that. And I'll, if I target anything in the development group, all of these will be checked by default. These kind of get inherited, hit select, and then hit save. And now anytime that this would run through, it would tell you any suspension rules or, or machines that are suspended, and it would have that automation if it were to trigger. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.